We got Steve, Steve Sarkeesian explaining something to Pete Carroll, man. Let's pull this, pull up this next topic, man. Uh, Great. What's going on with Steve Sarkeesian? Man, we got a video right here to play. Let, let Check this out. Greatest of all time, right? If, if you put Coach Saban, Coach Carroll, and Bill Belichick. Yeah. The biggest thing I got from those two, here's Pete Carroll. He's bouncing around. He's chewing gum. He's playing catch every day. He's got his gloves on. Here's Nick Saban. The methodical regiment, the discipline of this is how we're going to go about our business, and this is the approach. But in the end, they're both striving for the, the exact same thing, sure. which is being champions. They're both highly competitive, two of the most competitive humans I've ever been around. What I came to find out in my time, having been with Coach Carroll, then I get back with Coach Saban, the second half of their careers is when they really took off. Yeah, I would argue way more successful yeah. than the first. Not even close, yeah. right? Both of them right around 50, and then the last 20, 22 years, they're both 72, have been the greatest years of their of their careers. Why is that? What happened? They figured out who they were, and then they coached who they were rather than trying to be something that they're not. When you try to be something you're not, when adversity strikes, the real you comes out, and then everybody around you like, who the hell's that guy? Mm. And I think that, for me, was probably the biggest thing because you know, I remember I was 34 years old. I was yeah. the head coach at the University of Washington. Yeah. I didn't know what the heck was going on. Yeah. I was, at that time, and I use this analogy, I was a thermometer walking into whatever the situation was, whatever the temperature was, that's how I responded. And I've gotten to now, I'm a thermostat. I set that temperature. If you figure out who you are and then you try to act in accordance to who you are as consistently as possible so everybody knows what to expect. And I think... He preaching right now. He preaching, uh, in my opinion, he's preaching. First of all, he shouted out three of the greatest coaches of all time. I think the video started off with him basically calling them like, like the greatest. Pete Carroll, Nick Saban, and Bill Belichick. And I think he hit the nail on the head. Like, I think, I know he's talking about coaching specifically, but I think what he's saying also kind of pertains to the real world, whatever career job you're in. Like, if you go into a situation just being yourself up front and kind of you being the thermostat, you setting the tone, you start, it's kind of setting the temperature, there's no shock behind anything that moves forward or happens with you because they know who you are. But when you go in there and you're trying to fit in, then when that real side does come out, whether it's good or negative, it kind of becomes a shock to, to some people. I guess you being the experienced head coach on here, how much of that do you agree with? How much of that do you disagree with? Or what's your overall take? Well, look, I've had many sit downs and my house with Sark, his house, wherever we've been, clinics. Uh, I used to go up to UW with him and hang out all the time for days and days at a time. Like that whole staff we all grew up with, like that's just, uh, uh, you know, both Juco people that grew up together, uh, lived at each other's houses growing up. It is what it is. We've had these conversations that he just talked about. What the story is that they won't hear, and I've told this story before, but I don't care what anybody says. Nick Saban's not Nick Saban if Pete Carroll's still coaching college football. It is what it is. Like, there's two common denominators. Steve Sarkeesian and Lane Kiffin. They both did what? Coach for Pete Carroll and Nick Saban. Yeah. Don't you think they know better than anyone else out there on planet Earth about the two individuals themselves having coached for both of them? Yeah. In their prime. In yeah. their prime. And they both said, Nick Saban ain't Nick Saban. Pete Carroll's still in college football. Period, homie. It is what it is. There's a texting rule they made for Pete Carroll. A head coaching couldn't go to – head coaches could not go to high school because of Pete Carroll. They all want to come out and talk about it's Nick Saban's the reason. No, it's not. It's Pete Carroll's the reason. And you know who actually uh, magnified it? Urban Meyer came and magnified the head coach at the high school because of the great recruiter he was. And then there started to be – Nick was always that guy. But listen, Nick wasn't winning these titles when Pete Carroll was coaching. I'm just saying. But let me let me, let me me counter that, though. Like, sure, Pete Carroll reached his success prior to Nick Seven reaching his, his success. But are we, we're just assuming – that Pete Carroll would have just continued to win and win and win and win and win and win and, and Saban would have never knocked down the door. Like I, I, I would feel like if anything, it would have been more of like a battle between the two. Like some Man, year talk about, win, talk some about year Pete Carroll win, but you're talk talking like Saban just would have been just fucking chopped liver if, if, if like it's, I it's made almost a like disrespect to Saban in my opinion. It's I made a statement. I mean, in fact, when Nick Saban is done, I understand you're trying to get Pete Carroll praise, and I, I'm not. I, Man, I you're arguing you know, facts. Going, I'm not saying he ain't you're arguing with. facts. You're talking like Saban, just like like he, like he overrated is the energy I'm getting. 
You're you're talking facts. What are you arguing? The facts are out there. Go look when Nick Saban won and when Coach Carroll was coaching. Go show me the facts. Why are you arguing facts? There's no facts or debate. Because we're also living in assumption. I don't know what Pete Carroll would have kept doing. Like, we can assume all, like, you don't win every single year. And I love Pete Carroll. I'm just saying, like, you know what I'm saying? Can we just talk about the facts? I hear you. How old are how old is Nick Saban? 72. How old is Pete Carroll? 72. Different journeys, JV. Different journeys. All journeys ain't the same. Stop. Let, Stop. Let, let, hold on. Hold on. We just out. saw two boxers fight who were both 29 years old, complete different right. paths. Hold complete on. Let me different stories. So the eight, they don't always mean they going. don't mean the same shit. Let's keep going. What did Nick Saban do when he went left college and went to the NFL? Didn't do he didn't do he didn't do well. He actually quit and came yeah. back to college the same year. Yep. What's Pete Carroll done in the NFL when he left college? Once, one Super Bowl, been in multiple. Mm. So resume wise, who do you say was a little bit better? NFL by far, Pete Carroll. Not in the conversation. Well, I'm just saying resume. They're 72 years old. You keep forgetting they're the same age. If I pull well, out, I, resume, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know overall. I don't know overall. I put a resume in front of you. At the end of the day, Nick Nitty, Saban, Nick Saban is, is in the conversations when people talk about the greatest college coach of all time. Nick Saban is in those conversations. Unfortunately, Pete Carroll's not in it because you can say because he decided to leave, and we know we know he left right around the time which shit was going on at SC, whatever. All I'm saying is he left. He made this a decision. It's a great decision because he, he had a great career in the NFL. I don't I don't know resume wise. Like, I mean, you got one guy who, who has success in at both levels or whatever. You got one guy who predominantly just stayed at one level. Y'all, 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 y'all know, you know, destroyed you know. it. Like, I'm telling you, dog. You guys really have a very ne- – I'm just talking in general. You, people out here have very narrow – they're narrow-minded thinkers. And they don't Thank really you, think about – they don't really think about what I really laid out there for everybody out there to listen to. <laughs> Here's a perfect example. In college, Saban was better. NFL Pete. That's the comment this kid just made, Josh Cummings, a nobody, not a member. When I call you a nobody, it means you're not a member. So a nobody said, in college, Saban was better, NFL Pete. After, Smitty, I just broke down their resume. Now, see, y'all still aren't understanding what I'm saying. I just said if Pete Carroll stayed in college, Nick Saban would not be who Nick Saban is. Wasn't that what I said? That's what you said. Then he left to the NFL and won and went to multiple Super Bowls and won a Super Bowl. Should have won two at least. But he won one. Had, so, a, had, had one of the worst call in Super Bowl history that led to them okay. losing uh, their second Whatever. I, that, that, that has nothing to do with this. I'm just giving context. He, okay. he made one of the worst That's calls in Super Bowl history care. that he caught his, Bowl, his legacy and his team winning a second Super Bowl with one of the greatest defenses of all time. I'm just throwing out the, the information. That's all I'm saying. Continue, That's though. Fine. We already know that. I don't, there's no reason. Well, to say all that. the fans that here are young, they don't they don't all remember that. I'm just letting them know. Well, Nick Saban, okay, I'm gonna throw it out too. Nick Saban went to the NFL. Miami Dolphins was so bad they wanted him out of the locker room as players. They kicked him out. He quit and went back to college. Okay, now there's context to that too. So, yep. all right. So, so That's having said saying. that, having said that, how is Nick Saban better in college? If I said Pete Carroll is the reason Nick Saban is better in college? Because earlier, a few seconds ago, you said let's speak speak on facts. Because he, so left. Your, so your, he your, left. Your, your take, is, your take is, is an opinion based upon history. It's not you're an saying, opinion. Saying based upon the time in which Pete Carroll and Sam were both in college coaching, Pete Carroll had more success. So in your mind, that same trend would have continued. I'm saying there's no way to logically understand or know for a fact that would have continued. The only facts, if we're going to live on facts, is that you look at Nick Saban's total college career, you look at Pete Carroll's total college career, whatever that was, and Nick Saban clearly has had a better college career. You could now you could now your your rebuttal could be, well, Pete Carroll left. Cool. Life is about choices and decisions. He left. So Nick Saban stayed. And Nick Saban has surpassed him in overall greatness when it comes to college coaching resume. Point blank period. That is an actual fact. There's no argument to that at all. There's zero argument to that. So you got, you're just going to miss over the whole point I made then. You're no, you, you make a hell of a point, but if we're li- are we living in facts or are we living on our opinions? I'm cool. We can go either way. It is not an opinion, homie. Why do you all keep saying it's an opinion? I just clearly said the stated the facts of this whole thing, and y'all still use an opinion. During the time Nick Saban and Pete Carroll were in college together, who had more national titles? Pete Carroll 
When Pete Carroll left college football, he went on and won a Super Bowl. Nick Saban became who he is. That is fact. How is this fucking opinions? I mean, it's really not a fucking hard thing to look up, homie. Pete Carroll was the greatest college football coach at the time, and then he left. So guess what? Addition by subtraction, this guy left, and then another guy took over, obviously, because this guy went to the highest level. By the way, in resume speaking content, if I put a resume out, the ultimate goal is to do what? Win a Super Bowl. He has done both. Nick Saban failed at the NFL level. This guy has won at all levels and multiple times. And I mean, that how, is how many fact. Pete Carroll win? That is fact. That is how fact. How many nights did Pete Carroll win? Two and shared one. How many nights has Saban won? After Carroll left? How uh, many how many, I don't, how many nights did Saban win? After Carroll left? I don't know. Four? I don't know. Five? Keep going. Anyway, let's move on to another all-time. No, let's move on to another all-time great college coach. 